complex integration contour integration contour integration is the process of calculating the values of an integral contour integral around a given contour in the complex plane so in the contour integral we have there are three types the first type type 1 integrals of the form integral 0 to 2 pi function of cos and sin d theta so this is contour integral of type 1 so the contour integral of type 1 means integral with the limit 0 to 2 pi and function involving either cos, cos or sin so in this type we have to consider an unit circle c mod z equal to 1 that means z equal to e power i theta and then finally we will get the value cos theta is equal to z square plus 1 by 2 z and sin theta is equal to z square minus 1 by 2 i z and d theta equal to d z by i z. So now this is the contour integral of type 1. Okay, so now problem based on the contour integral of type 1. So this is the problem. Eval evaluate the integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 2 plus cos theta using contour integrals a solution so now the given integral what is given integral integral over 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by 2 plus cos theta so now this is contour integral of type 1 because the integral the limit 0 to 2 pi and function involving cos theta so in this type we have to consider an unit circle C. So consider an unit circle C. That means mod is it equal to 1. It implies is it equal to e power i theta. So from this then we have cos theta is equal to z square plus 1 by 2 z and d theta equal to d z by i z. So this is from the contour integral of type 1. And now this value I am going to substitute in the given integral. So now the given integral integral over 0 to 2 pi d theta by 2 plus cos theta is equal to this integral I am going to convert into in terms of z. So integral over c where c is an unit circle c. Unit circle. And this is d theta. Take outside. So 1 by 2 plus cos theta. What is cos theta? z square plus 1 by 2 z. And d theta. d theta is d z by i z. So d z by i z. And now this can be rewrite as take LCM. So 1 by 4 z plus z square plus 1 by 2 z d z by i z. And here z and z cancel. And remaining term i this is 2. So denominator of denominator is numerator. So 2 by i. This 2 by i can take outside. Okay, so now this is the 2 by i take outside integral over c, integral over c, uh, this is 1 by z square plus 4 z plus 1 into d z after taking 2i outside and now this is remain 2 by i you see this is integral over c f of v z d z so by Cauchy by Cauchy residues theorem this integral can be written as 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z.
take equation number 1 where f of z is equal to what is f of z here this is f of z so 1 by z square plus 4 z plus 1 so now we want to calculate the residue of f of z so to find the residue first we have to find out the poles of the function f of z so to find the poles put the denominator equal to 0 so what the denominator z square plus 4 z plus 1 equal to 0 so this is quadratic equation we cannot factorize directly so that this is a equal to 1 b equal to 4 c equal to 1 so z equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so now this is minus 4 plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2 into 1 2 so minus 4 plus or minus 16 minus 4 root of 12 by 2 so this can be written as minus 2 plus or minus root 3 how root 12 can be written as 4 into 3 12 4 can be written as 2 outside so commonly take 2 outside cancel so here there are 2 roots minus 2 plus or minus root 3 so now there are two poles minus 2 plus root 3 another one minus 2 minus root 3 so take it as alpha let alpha is equal to first pole minus 2 plus root 3 another one beta equal to minus 2 minus root 3 so there are two poles so now we have to verify which one lies inside which one lies outside but already we consider an unit circle c that means the radius is 1 so now one now here this is less than 1 this is greater than 1 when you take modulus this is greater than 1 and this is less than 1 so that it lies inside this lies outside so now therefore z equal to alpha is a simple pole and lies inside z equal to beta is a simple pole and lies outside so only one pole lies inside the circle c therefore we are going to find the residue for z equal to alpha only so formula for residue so residue of f of z at z equal to alpha is limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha into f of z so now limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha f of z what is f of z 1 by z square plus 4 z plus 1 so this is one limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha 1 by this is quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta so it, it can be written as z minus alpha into z minus beta so this is cancel so 1 by put alpha here so alpha minus beta so what is alpha alpha is minus 2 plus root 3 beta is minus 2 minus root 3 take minus inside so minus of minus plus 2 plus root 3 so 2 to cancel so 1 by 2 root 3 so we found residue for is it equal to alpha okay so now substituting in one because what is one sum of the residues we found only one residue so substituting in one so what is one one implies that given integral d theta by 0 to 2 pi d theta by 2 plus cos theta is equal to 2 by i into 2 pi i into sum of the residues what is the residues only one residue so 1 by 2 root 3 so now 2 2 cancel pi pi cancel so final answer 2 pi by root 3 so which is the answer of the given problem and now so for continuous support subscribe this video visit us www.arivanesh.com Purchase our textbook for the easiest method of solving problems.
ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட்